guys, welcome to another log talk with Dave from the British Columbia School of Log Building. Today we're going to look at the anatomy of a dovetail log house. So we're going to look at the names and the terms from the first log up to the top log. The very first log that starts every dovetail log shell is called the half log. It's not exactly half, but there's a, a calculation that we use, but it's approximately half. We need to create this pattern where we start with the half log and then we bring in a full log and that set creates an offset that allows the joinery to happen and that pattern will continue throughout the whole building. So we're starting with our first half log, then we bring in our first full log and those four logs together are called the first round. So every course of logs that we put on is called a round. Each completed dovetail consists of joinery on two separate logs. So we've got on the lower log, always cut on the top side, is what we call the receiver. So the slope that slopes to the exterior of the building is called the receiver. And we think of that as preparing this log to receive the next log. And then we bring in the upper log, which then gets scribed and fitted to match the receiver. And this mating face on the lower side of this log is called the connector. So the connector goes on the receiver to make the completed dovetail. Now it's sometimes hard to envision how these logs are coming together when they're all stacked up in a building form. So let's go take a look at a, a model of a completed dovetail that we have that we can pull apart and we can look at both, both mating faces. We have our demonstration corner stack here that we use in our log building courses to help us visualize how the, the two parts, the receiver and the connector come together. Luckily these logs are a lot lighter than the ones we were looking at over there so we have the luxury of being able to lift them off and take a look at what's underneath. So here we can see a good example of the receiver face and it's important to note that the receiver always slopes to the exterior of the, of the building and we want to think of that as far as uh, think like a raindrop. You'd always want the, the water to be running away from your building. So that's how you can always remember which direction the dovetail should be running. And we can flip our upper log over to take a look at the connector. So we've got the, the angle running on the receiver, which is approximately 15 degrees. And then we also have the same angle that's cut to mate to that but is running in the perpendicular direction to form the locking corner. Here's a look at how the receiver and the connector come together. There's just a couple more terms specific to the dovetail itself. So our, our horizontal cuts, our angled cuts are referred to as our face cuts and then any of our vertical cuts are our shoulder cuts. One uh, particular thing on the exterior of the building, we have this extra space, as you'll notice, all the way along, and that is a pur purposeful space, and that's called the chinking setback. And what that gap does is it allows us to get a foam backer rod in there to uh, increase the in insulating qualities and seal the building up a little bit better and then we chink over that. Instead of just bringing that right up tight, then all we would have is just a single bead of caulking or chinking there. So on the interior of the building, we'll take a look in there after, you'll see that the shoulders are tight on the inside and that this gap is only on the exterior side of the building. horizontal space that runs the length of the logs is known, known as the chinking gap. That will get a foam backer rod will be applied and then chinking product on top of that to seal all those spaces. All right, let's talk window openings in a dovetail log shell. So, 
last full length log before it breaks into the actual window opening we refer to as the sill log. This particular one doesn't have a defined sill cut in it yet, but once the exact window dimension is decided, most likely the sill will drop down into this log. And then when we get to the actual opening, the log is obviously broken into separate pieces. Typically we'll build with single single run logs all the way through, cut the openings after, just because that's a quicker way to line it up, more efficient way to build. But it also does provide us an opportunity to stretch a log if we need to. These two logs were shorter logs, so by putting the two windows in, it gave us the opportunity to stretch them and make them long enough to suit the wall. So we've got our two short pieces here, and then once we get to our log, up above, same terminology as a, as a conventional house, this is the header log. So we've got our sill, our individual pieces, and then our header log. The top log here, the cantilevers at the front and the back to create the overhang, it's called the cap log. As you can see, we've got a pitch flat cut on the side of the log, top of the log, where the rafters will sit directly on and the rafters will continue up to meet the pitch flat on the ridge beam above. The uppermost log is called the ridge beam or the ridge pole. It runs the full length of the building, has a corresponding cantilever to match the cap log below. The pitch cuts are cut directly onto the ridge pole and the rafters will go from ridge pole flat to cantilever flat, spanning the distance and then having a continuing for an overhang past the cap log. Here we are on the inside of this 18 by 20 dovetail shell. These are Douglas fir logs, all locally harvested. Some nice big logs. This log is 24 inches. I know that because it maxed out our mill when we cut it. They get a little smaller as they go up, but they're still 18 inch plus everywhere. As I mentioned earlier, you can see on the inside that there's no chinking setback gap created on the interior. That's only on the exterior of the building. A few other details we can see. You can see the frame gable arrangement, king posts, carrying the load for the ridge pole. Thanks for watching our Anatomy of a Dovetail Cabin video. So the next time you find yourself at a dinner party in a log house, you can marvel all your friends with your incredible wisdom. For more log talks with Dave, subscribe to our YouTube channel or come and join us in British Columbia for a log building course.